more like it's gonna be a good time tonight. So thank you guys for coming out. Without any further ado, let's get this thing started. Coming to the stage, Atlanta. Put your hands together for singer, songwriter, producer, the man himself, Mr. Eric Benet.
I'm always excited to come to Atlanta. Atlanta is so dope. Dope ass city. Black people doing big things. I like that. So, I'm going to be shooting a movie in a couple months, y'all. That's why I'm growing this AARP beard right here. And I had to, I had to lose all this weight. I had to lose like 20 pounds, like my clothes was falling off me and shit. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for coming. We're gonna do some songs from way, way back. What you wanna do here? The way, way back. We're gonna do some songs that's kind of new. I wanna do a song right now. Song's called Chocolate Day. Now, I love this song. But when I first when I first came out with it, some people felt a little left out, you know, because some people are a little melanin challenged, you know what I'm saying? So they'd be like, what you got against caramel leaves? Like, you, you feel me? 
But this is what I was thinking when I wrote this song. When I wrote the song, I was thinking the good Lord made chocolate in so many flavors. Right? Got your dark chocolate. You got your like milky, I don't know, what am I, caramel, whatever, whatever I am. You got your white chocolate. So don't feel left out. This song goes out to all the chocolate ladies tonight. <laughs>
wanna find you, baby, find you, baby.
Thank you so much, y'all. I want to just once again take this opportunity to say thank you because um, it's just like, I know entertainers say this shit all the time, but I mean it. Like, I love y'all. It's like, you make my dreams come true. Like, every time I walk out here and come on stage, it's like, my dreams came true again. You know? That's what it feels like for my end. And I'm, I'm just grateful. I want you to know I am truly grateful. And it's like I've been doing it for decades at this point. And this shit never wears off, you know? It's like, right before I'm backstage, I'm just excited. And I come out here and I'm like, wow, this is beautiful. So, that's all. Thanks. Thank you. So I want to go back now and do one of my very first, very first, like I had to work to lose this weight that I lift the damn pants. And, but I had to work for this shit, but I want to do a song like back in the day, remember you could eat anything and you was just skinny and shit? No, no, no. I want to do a song that I did way back then. I just had abs for no reason back then. I wasn't, you know, I like, wasn't even working out in the gym. Just like, brr, brr, like that shit gone. <laughs> Gotta work for that. But let me see if y'all remember this song.
somebody that we lost way too early. Somebody who was very influential to me, made such a huge impact on my life, and I know it made a huge impact on these gentlemen behind me, and probably you too. His name is Prince. You know, I mean, we, 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 lost, we lost so many these past few years. But Prince was one of those kind of people that, um, I don't know, man. He just, everything, he just excelled. You know, it just seems like God gives us, you know, he'll give us a Stevie Wonder every now and then. He'll give us a Charlie Chaplin, you know. I, I don't think we're going to see another like him for a little while. But... I remember being a little boy listening to a song that he recorded and it, it just it made such an impact on me because the song, the recording was just a piano and his voice and it blew me away that he was able to command so much power um, with just his voice and a piano and I remember thinking if I'm ever lucky enough to have my dreams come true and do what I'm doing tonight I, I was like, I want to be able to do that. That shit right down. 
I didn't say that shit because my mama wouldn't. But that's what I was thinking. So if I could, can I just uh, do try this thing? Do it, Eric.
see, I know y'all don't be bullshitting in Atlanta. Y'all meant that shit. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. I love that shit. Wow, thank you. That was big. So can I tell y'all another another little story? Um, I think it was in 1997. I was in the studio and we just wrote this song. And we're listening back in the studio. I'm with my boy, Demonte, with my cousin George, and we're listening to the song. Listening to it. And I say, Bro, they say, what? I said, this is going to be my very first number one song. You know what they said? Look, you crazy. They did not hear it. True story. They were like, this song? I was like, yes. Because by this time, I had already done like one album. I, never, I hadn't had a number one, but... You know, people were starting to feel me and know who I was, but I, I had yet to have a number one. So I said, yes, this song. I said, but you know what we got to do? We got to make it a duet. And the first person at the top of my list, and this never happens, especially for a new artist. You know, when you're a new artist, you want to do a duet with another artist you better have a list of about 20 people because the first five people gonna ask for too much money that you ain't got because you're a new artist and uh, you know the other three or four may be like yeah i like the song but it ain't for me but the person at the top of my list my first choice yeah. was tamia Now here's a secret. Aside from Tamia being an amazing artist, an incredible vocalist, right? One of the main reasons why I asked Tamia to do this song with me is because I was trying to get with Tamia. I was trying to make that shit happen, man. I saw that you put a move on my heart video. I was like, who the hell is that? <laughs> so I gotta paint the picture because you have to realize we're not talking about this. <laughs> By the way, I'm 53 last year. <laughs> we are not talking about this mature 53 wise, been through some shit, you know, Eric Gray. We ain't talking about this guy. Yeah. We talking about 19. <laughs> that dude was a trip. <laughs> so, let me paint the picture. Tamia says she can be by the studio Thursday at 11 a.m. So, 1997, Eric Benet. Let, let me tell you what he was wearing. I had on blue velvet drawstring pants <laughs> with no drawers. I had on a kimono with no shirt underneath and the kimono was open tripping right and remember back in the 90s we folks used to wear patchouli I had the patchouli oil all on my chest remember I told you about the abs my body was on point it was like pain so I thought I would wait outside the studio, like in the, in the street when she pulled up. I want to pose, you know, strike me a pose, you know. I'm like, and I'm on my two way pager, you know, like, licking my lips like LL. Because I hear the car coming. To me, a sweet self, she pulls up. Escalade, she hops out, she's like, oh my god, the song is so beautiful, I can't wait to do it. And I'm staying in character, right? I'm like, Tamia, I just want you to, I want you to feel free while we're in the vocal booth. Just, if you want to touch my 
my face, just to touch my face, man. Just feel free to grab me at the climax of the song, because I want to connect with you. Like, real creepy, right? That's who he was. Out of the driver's side, pop Grant Hill. Shit off. I tried to be like, oh, hey, oh man, hey, thanks for coming, bro. Yeah, thanks for bringing your girl by. Yeah, yeah, man, we gonna do this. You know, we get that. Y'all look nice together, man. <laughs> Needless to say, Tamia got in the, she got in that vocal booth and she killed it. And we didn't do the whole touching my face and touching chest. Grant would have whooped my ass. So, I was right, this was my very first number one song. And you guys have quite, quite a treat tonight because I have this incredible vocalist, Miss Paula Champion. Where you at, baby? Go, girl! Y'all were looking for Tamiya, weren't you? All right. <laughs> Nah, they ready for you. They ready Somebody for you. Somebody get that photo. <laughs> Give it up for Paula, y'all. Wanna do it? Yes. Yeah. 
She's been... Let me bring out Paul like me, and you gonna help me with this, my jump. We gonna do something. 